Hey everybody, Real Fan Man here. Layouts update number 17 coming at ya. Got the Vermonter cruise on through. Gardner Mass. Which I think, realistically, I don't think it goes through Gardner Mass, but anyways, on my layout it does for today, right? So, uh, it's just gonna be a quick update, nothing major. I mean, it did some major construction, but it's uh, um, it's pretty much complete as far as the track arrangement and laying the track down. Uh, these are the three new cars I picked up in Pennsylvania. It's got the ADM, uh, ADM tank car, the CHSX tank car, and then I got the uh, scrap car. So a good addition for the scrapyard. They are, I believe these two are Walther's mainline. And uh, this one right here I believe is an Atlas. Stand by. Okay, yeah, these are 25,000 gallon tank cars from Walther's mainline. And this is the Atlas Masterline rolling stock. So I gotta catalog those in the JMRI. Okay, next. Well, what's this? What do we have coming? Looks like the MOW train's making its way around the layout as well. Nice, very nice. Beautiful. Okay. I figure I have a couple trains running around while I do the update. So as you can see, my last update was uh, a little chaotic, I think. Well, I don't want to say chaotic, but a little different. I you know I did a couple of shorts on this. The Walther's fueling uh, area. Oh, actually, I'll show you a picture of it. Stand by. All right, so here's the box again. Walther's Cornerstone Diesel Fueling Facility. So, picking away at that. But, they get the base down, so that's important, right? The track's got to kind of go over that. Weathered it up some. I touch it up a little bit more um, when I get to it. But the base is down, the track is laid. I'm happy. I kind of kept the switch in. Um, just because, I mean, you know, I could still have, if this isn't being occupied at any time and MOW train needs to kind of cut through, they can utilize it, you know. So I just kept this switch in. And here's the uh, MOW tracks right here. So I could either use all three of them as storage or I can keep one open for throughway. doesn't really matter. Depends on what I'm doing with my MOW train, I guess. And you get my uh, track cleaning box cars right here. I'd like to get that tank car that uh, with the liquid uh, uh, track cleaning tank car at some point. That'd be nice to have for a MOW track cleaning crew. And of course, I still have my engine ready track and I was able to utilize my double crossover. I like this switch, this thing is really cool. I'm glad I picked one up last year. And then that kind of coincides with the four uh, diesel shop tracks here. So I got track uh, number one, track number two, track number three, and track number four. So Realistically, I would like to use utilize these two for cars, for freight cars, unless you know I have an abundance of locomotives that need work. But these two right here will be designated for locomotives, and um, they are isolated. And I did a couple of videos on that, so we'll flip this switch right here. It should power up this Springfield Terminal locomotive. There we go. You can see it's on. 
And then we'll uh, turn it off. So I'm happy with that. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to isolate the tracks is because, like I said in my last video, about the, uh, the diagram video there, <clears throat> I've had some locomotives take off on me before, and luckily it wasn't a big catastrophe, however it could have been. So, needless to say, um, I just decided I'm going to isolate the tracks. And um, I still, you can see, I still have the wire... You can see this on the wires for my lights. Um, I already drilled the holes. I just got to drop them down and reconfigure the um, Woodland Scenics. Uh, I think it's Woodland Scenics plug and play. So, uh, stand by. I'm sorry, the just plug. The light hub. So, this one right here is actually powering all my yard lamps. So... You can see they're not on right now, but I have um, I have another power hub there, so um, I'll put that in somewhere. So I have. All right, we'll get back to the MOW tracks here. We have two that I will utilize more or less for storage. Um, I might use utilize the third. I'm not sure, but these two tracks right here are. They can go through. You can see I put a Y switch right here. And try not to move around too fast. And I would say I have this switch right here. Uh, MOW crew has one more track to put in right here. It's going to kind of be like extra storage or loading. You know, you can see uh, MOW equipment. Need to fix this light. Uh, one of the connectors popped out, so I gotta do some soldering and uh, put this guy back in somewhere. Some Buddha stops. Need to put those back on the uh, engine track rails. Of course, I need to get like two more sets. And I got some ground throws and some cabinets and a bumper. So, a little forklift busy at work, moving some ties around, some rail, a couple of trucks parked. So, I'll have like the track come through here. And, uh, stand by for one second. All right, I'm back. So my idea, oh yeah, and I've actually, yeah, I did, I did build this out a little bit. Let's see, um, kind of curved the fascia some. Just gotta take some styrofoam, a foam board, and fill this up right here. So my my idea is to have like some sort of like mountain, little mountain, small mountain, we'll say, with you know some trees. Kind of just going along the side here to meet the tunnel. Kind of like a little, somewhat of a divider. So, um, we'll see. Stand by for one second. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, I had to fix one of my um, my cab car on the Amtrak train. It was uh, derailing somewhere in here. And it's obviously pushing backwards. And um, I can hear it hitting the, the ties on the helix, so... I gotta find out, I gotta pinpoint where exactly it's derailing so I can take a look at it, hopefully fix it. Um, other than that, it's running around the layout great. So, okay, so I'm gonna fill this up. I gotta put this track in here. Um, got the, uh, the boys hanging out. Two engineers hanging out on the roof, like, I guess, I don't know. They're doing whatever, so who knows. But I'm very happy with this, the way it's set up. For me, it's, it seems a little more prototypical. You know, I can, uh, the operations for this area alone could be running an engine from the shop to get fuel, and sand, and, um, you know, right over to the engine ready track. So, um, vice versa. And uh, after this video, not well, not after this video, but um, the next op session should be hopefully uh, sometime this weekend. And I still, uh, we got um, Deerfield Turn sitting here waiting. <clears throat> and then we have up here our sped train, or Springfield East Deerfield. So uh, this train right here. 
and this train right here will meet so that'll be part of the ops and then of course the yard switcher just sitting there waiting for some work and this guy right here I believe is going to be doing the Rail 80 2020 interchange which is the last ops that I have on the paperwork right now and uh, yeah you gonna be busy so I'm gonna take a break from working on the layout do some ops share some videos and um, yeah and then I have one more thing to show you stand by so I was at Dollar Tree the other day and I've been meaning to pick some of these up got some noodles so very happy with uh, you know with the way it popped on and I will be um, one more thing too I will be extending this out a little bit as you can see obviously the tracks on the edge so I'm probably gonna come out like another ooh, maybe a couple inches just take a piece of foam board again and just kind of like you know button it up to there to the other piece to the main layout and um, as far as the fascia is going to go, um, I'm probably going to have this on the fascia. I'm going to pop it on the fascia somehow this way. Or I might keep this here and then put another piece here, right here. There you can see that. And, uh, you know, this way. Because I, I, I bump my head or my back now and again. You know, and I get these like little tassels here just to kind of hey a little clearance you know both sides you can see so um real lady 2020 though she she dings her head now and again she's uh she comes in flying sometimes so or goes out flying you heard that all right yeah she heard me so anyways that's it that's that for uh, layout update number 17 uh, it's Saturday, uh, March 18th. Happy St. Patty's Day, too, to anybody who's Irish. I'm not Irish, so. Um, but it's anyone who is or even isn't. Happy St. Patty's Day. Don't drink too much. All that fun stuff, you know. Be safe. Take care. And uh, see you on the uh, next video, on the next stops. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Get this guy going through here, and then I'll stop the video. Focus, focus. All right, everybody. Happy modeling. Take care, real fan man. Signing out.